This is the Umidi G A13 Pro. It is an upgrade from the Umidi G A13 and it is equipped with a large 6.7 inch HD plus screen, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage space, Unisoc Tiger T610 processor, 5150 mAh battery. It is NFC enabled 48 megapixel main camera that has electronic image stabilization, Android 11, and it costs 77,000 Nigerian era. Or 150 US dollars. However, there are some compromises made to keep this device at this price point, even with all the value it's packing. At the end of this video, you'll be able to know if this device is worth your hard end 77k. What's up, guys? It's Victor here again. In this video, I will unbox and share my honest opinion about the Umidi G A13 Pro. Sounds like my village name. Subscribe if you're not, and do not forget to turn the bell on for notifications when I post another video like this one. Thanks to Umidi Gi for sending this our way. So let's better get started with this video. In the box, we have the phone, an envelope containing the SIM 2, a thank you note, as well as some info about the device. You also get a round 10 watt charger brick with this device, as well as a red USB-C cable. And that's it. No earphones, but at least we get a charger and cable. The Umidi Gi A13 Pro has features that suggest it's trying to be an iPhone. By the way, it can also stand upright on its own. It has a plastic back and frame, however, the back looks and feels like matte glass and I love how it looks and feels to the touch. This phone is quite heavy and thick, so if sleekness and portability are on your checklist, this isn't for you. It is thick. Although the thickness gives off a wonderful feeling when held in your hand, Umidigi A13 Pro has a large 6.7 inch display housing a 60 megapixel selfie shooter in a teardrop notch and we'll talk about that display in a moment. This device is available in three colors, stereo black, galaxy blue and sun glow gold and this is sun glow gold. The triple camera and flash arrangement on the back remind me of a satin phone. There is also a large but beautiful inscription on the back that says Beyond Dreams with the Umudigi logo on the other end of the back. The phone comes with a USB Type-C port at the bottom with a speaker and a microphone. The 3.5mm headphone jack and the secondary microphone are at the top. They integrated the power button with a fingerprint sensor on the right where you also find the volume buttons. The hybrid dual nano SIM and memory card slot is located by the left alongside a customizable shortcut button on the side which I found really useful. I was able to assign it to different functions or to open different apps. You can set it to do a particular thing when you double press or when you press and hold. I found it to be really functional. What do you think about that extra button? Do you think it's necessary? Are you ever going to use it? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's talk about the display. This might be my only dislike of this device. It has an IPS panel that has a resolution of 1650 by 720 p The colors are not vibrant and you can easily spot the pixels. On YouTube, you can watch videos at 1080p. Basically, media consumption is not fantastic here, but it's not entirely bad. Let's also look at the DMR information and wide vine security. It has the level 3 certification, so HD won't be available on Netflix or other streaming applications or services. Netflix and other streaming services are still available in 480p resolution. Umidigi A13 Pro offers great performance at a very dramatic and affordable price of 150 US dollars. It has the Unisoc Tiger T610 chip with 8 cores and running at 1.8 GHz, which is said to perform very similarly to the MediaTek Hello G85. In most of its basic tasks, it ran fine and efficiently without heating up or freezing, coupled with the 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage space here. Multitasking is decent. There is also the ability to expand the memory via a micro SD card to 256 gigabytes. The fingerprint sensor works just fine and accurately, but takes a quarter second to open the device. No complaints. No complaints, still faster than my Google Pixel 6. The Umidi G A13 Pro works on Android 11 with a stock Android experience. You barely find blue apps here. Full screen gesture navigation controls, dark themes, and a split screen multitasking view are also available. I think stock Android is best for cheap budget phones like this one since it's the purest form of the operating system with minimum customizations that might overwhelm the limited power in cheap phones such as this. Also, because you have pure Android here, you don't get ads and 
I really like that. The 818 Pro supports dual bandwidth of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. And of course, there is Bluetooth 5.0. The phone also has a radio that works without a pair of earphones. Umidi G813 Pro has a big built-in 5150 mAh battery, a non-removable battery that allows you to use your device for a full day or beyond without reaching out for your charger. I got this device from 12% to 70% in roughly 3 hours, so I'm suspecting it to take up to 4 hours to fully charge this device. For the cost of this device, I won't complain about the slow charging speed. However, its performance was good owing to the fact that it runs stock Android 11 and has no pre-installed programs. The UI is very basic with no complications or background activities. Umidigi A13 Pro has a triple camera setup that features a 48 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 120 degrees field of view, and a 5 megapixel macro camera that you'd probably never use. On paper, the specifications are impressive for a device in this price range that is already offering so much. But in real life, I'm not sure. The cameras can take pretty amazing shots and catch a lot of details with beautiful color saturation in good lighting. So I liked them, but they lacked quality in night photos. Notwithstanding, they are great cameras for the price. You get a 16 megapixel sensor in front for selfies, as well as an excellent algorithm and numerous modes or filters to choose from. You are also able to scan QR codes with the camera. Face unlock is also possible with this camera. In well-lit conditions, both front and back cameras can shoot 1080p HD videos at 30 frames per second with not so good electronic image stabilization. Hi guys, this is a video sample from the UMIDG A13 Pro. I don't know how this thing is called. Is it UMIDG or UMIDG? Let me know in the comment section below. And there's something else I forgot to point out that when you take a photograph, it adds some makeup to your face. Like on my lips, you could see the, the pink it added. So that's something to take note of. So it adds, regardless of whether you are on beauty mode or not, it adds that to your face, which you know, might not be a good thing to some people. Umidigi A13 Pro is a good smartphone considering the specs and the price it is offered. However, there are places I wish they didn't make compromises. I feel like if they should compromise in any other area, they shouldn't do that on the display. I really wish the display is better than this. There is also a small voice in my head yearning and wishing for a better camera setup on this device as well as Android 12. But then I'll be over wishing. This phone is barely 850 US dollars or 77,000 naira in Nigeria. Given that it is a low cost smartphone, I think you will be getting all your money's worth, if not more, if you pick up this device. I have a link in the description to where you can buy this device in Nigeria or globally. Let me know what you think about this device. Do you think it packs enough for the price of 850 US dollars? Also, be sure to check out other people's opinion in the comment section below. There are other videos on your screen right now. And please do not forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching this video. And I hope to see you in another one. Bye.